Yeah, good morning. It's Jim from JagFX.com. It is Friday the 3rd of August 2018 and this is just a video where I go through all of my daily charts, what I've done this morning only. That's both on the Mod MACD method and the high probability method and spot on timing. As soon as I start the video, a local vendor comes past on his motorbike with his speaker going. So you'll hear a bit of background noise there. All right, fair bit of action this morning on the Mod Mac D chart. So we'll start with them first. These are doing my head in a little bit, but it's just the way they are at the moment. The market's going sideways. Hopefully we'll get a breakout eventually. Let's have a look. USD, Japanese Yen. I was in a sell here. I've now closed that sell and taken a loss. Um, you can see we've got a confirmed cross through the fast MACD on the zero level. Um, there is enough to take a buy trade, but I'm holding off at the moment. I just don't like the look of the whole setup there. Even though the criteria is met, and I should take it, I'll prop I may do on Monday. I don't know because we've got non-farm payrolls tonight. Um, but I'm taking, I'm close that sell, and I may look at a buy. So uh, I'm no longer in that sell. Just put a little thing there, so I know to look for a buy. All right, that's the USD, Japanese yen, Euro CAD. What I do here? Check my notes. Stop set. So all I've done is set a stop here. I had no stop previously. I'm in a sell here. It's going nicely. Uh, I was going to close half, but I changed my mind. It's up 200 pips or so. I just set a stop here at uh, 153,504 just to protect that trade. Um, so that's all I've done on the EuroCAD cell. Aussie USD, another one's still my head in. I'm going to buy here. This morning I closed out that buy for a loss. As you can see, you've got a confirmed cross to the downside. Look at these dots still. My all these dots mean a cross. Unbelievable. Um, there wasn't enough to take a sell trade as yet. There's not enough criteria met. As there's no red QMP dot and the standard MACD is not quite in sell mode yet. So, again, that trade, no longer in that buy trade, took a loss on the Aussie USD and in no trade at the moment. New Zealand Japanese Yen, I was in a buy. Just crossed to the downside. Closed my buy. There's enough criteria met to take a sell even though it's, um, yep it's all the criteria is met close below the 25 SMA obviously a confirmed cross in the fast MACD and the standard MACD is just in sell mode so I took the sell this morning so the buy is no longer in play took the loss there story of my life for these trades at the moment um, so we're just in a new sell on the New Zealand Japanese yen Euro USD took a new trade on new sell trade on this this morning. Probably a little bit higher risk due to the fact that there's non farm payrolls <laughs> tonight and we're on these sort of lows already, also. But you can see that I was waiting for a clear signal, got a red QMP dot up here, and the standard MACD is just in sell mode, so there's enough to take that sell signal this morning. So Euro USD in a sell. Aussie Japanese Yen. Also another trade that I was waiting for a clear signal. It's not super clear, um, but I've taken a sell this morning on it. There is no red QMP dot. However, price closed below the 25 SMA. There's obviously a definite cross on the fast MACD. And the standard MACD is in sell mode. Not convincing, but it is. So there's enough criteria met there. It's one of these ones I don't want to miss out in the breakout when it does happen. So I've taken the sell on the Aussie Japanese yen. Now let's keep on trucking. New Zealand USD. Um, I was in a buy here. I thought that was a good trade too. Uh, Got a confirmed cross this morning and closed out that buy trade for a loss, so no longer in that buy, and I took a new sell this morning. So in a sell trade here this morning, meets all the criteria. Uh, the standard MACD is not quite in sell mode, but it 
because we have a red dot in the QMP, price close at 20, 20, below the 25 SMA, and we've got a confirmed cross on the fast MACD, that sell was taken. Um, again, a little bit higher risk, we're coming towards the previous lows, and we've got the USD involved with non-farm payrolls, so it could be a bit of an issue, but the sell was there, it's going the right way, so I'll take it. Uh, pound Aussie. Now this is one I was in a sell back here, and yesterday afternoon I set stops uh, to protect all my pound pairs on in case of the um, adverse UK interest rate news. And I set my stop on this at one seven eight one nine three, and it was stopped out yesterday and spike up for a small loss. And that went up as 78216. So two pips that went above my stop, enough to take me out. Now look what happened to it. And as you can see, my notes there, not happy. But I see, that's trading. And Aussie New Zealand uh, in a cell. You've got a confirmed close uh, cross of the fast MACD this morning. So I'm out of that cell for a loss. Probably a little bit of a bummer if I'd woken up right on the market open. I would have saved myself about 40 pips on that. That moved, oh, nearly 40 pips. That moved really quick on the open this morning up, up. But that's the way it is. Take my chances, not being at the open. Um, so that sells no longer on play. Took a loss. Not enough criteria um, there to take the buy. There's no green QMP dot. And the standard MACD is not yet in buy mode. So I couldn't take the buy there, but I'll be watching it and I'll draw a line. So I'll make a note in my chart later saying watch for the buy. But that Aussie New Zealand no longer in the um, crap, I them on the sell, sell trade. All right, let's move over to the high probability, the less stress <laughs> just set up at the moment. Quick look at the news while we're here. Um, being Friday, first Friday of the month, Friday 3rd of August. Um, usual story, got the Canadian trade balance out. Normally there's Canadian employment figures too, I don't know why they're not there today. Um, but the big one is the employment figures, or the non-farm payrolls it used to be called, out of the US. So that's at 7.30 local for me, which is in 13 hours, roughly. So the, that's the big one, and that could move the market, any USD related pairs. Just be warned. All right, let's have a look at the high probability charts. Pound Japanese yen in a cell here. I've already closed half. Stop is being moved down on this cell, just above this high here, uh, and just well below the entry level. So that stop's being moved down to one four seven two seven three. I I'm also in a buy on this, which is obviously not looking good after last night, but because I've got half a cell. And a full buy, I'm sort of partially protected on that buy, and so what I'm looking for is a stop in place for the buy. So price will come down eventually, it'll turn up, and I'll make money on the buy and make money on the sell. That's the plan, Stan. New Zealand Japanese yen in a sell here, uh, it's going nicely at the moment, but the MACD is getting close to the zero level. So all I've done is set a stop above this previous height, this little fractal here. So I've set moved my stop down to 76.363. That's all I've done there. Protecting the trade a little bit. Euro USD in a sell back here. Um, this morning got again bullish Jagfx RD. That little blue trend line there and plus we're getting close to that you can see the blue dotted line the MACD platinum's already crossed through the zero level so all I've decided to do is protect myself here especially with non-farm payrolls tonight so I've closed half of the sell trade so it's only 58 pips or something and I've set a stop up here at 1.17012 so basically an overall break even trade if the NFP if it has a bit of a bounce and um, resumes its trend on sweep because that stop should be safe and but if it's 
It doesn't, and it takes me out, so be it. Obviously, they've got big support level still, heads down towards this blue aqua line. So that sell, closed half, stop, tightened up. And finally, New Zealand, can Canadian dollar, had a buy back here, had a stop down here. And it, last night, spiked down through my stop, taking me out. So I stopped out for a loss in that buy. And I've already drawn green potential bullish divergence lines in place. So what I'll be looking at now is price to head down maybe a bit lower with no problems, as the MACD would head down lower. So say the MACD come down to that level down there, it'd have to come a long way to get rid of that bullish divergence. So if it come down to here and I've got a buy signal, there's still bullish divergence again ready to go. So that's what I'm looking at. So but that's a bit of a bummer getting stopped down on that trade, but that's what stops are there for. I think that's it. So that's it guys, it's a, um, been a couple of busy days with news and that, and tonight's going to be no different, so just be careful. In about 13 hours or so, non-farm payrolls, which will affect most USD pairs. Alright, thanks for watching, and if you like these videos, can you please subscribe, or at least hit the like button, and feel free to share. Alright, thank you, chat later.